Thank you for joining us today. Today is a beautiful day to work on a 1984 mobile home. We're gonna to try to tackle this window right here. Every window in this home leaks or has leaked in the past and caused water damage. So let's get in the house, see what we're working with and get it fixed. And actually, before I go inside, let's take a look at this because I just wanna show you guys why a lot of these windows leak. You have to remember these windows are 39 years old. These are old windows. And they weren't the best quality to begin with, but look at how warped and messed up this plastic is. And this was the thing that was holding the glass in and the glass is completely just, well, it's in there, but it's loose. But you might be able to see how all these seals are dried out and separating. And if these seals look like this, well, just imagine all the spots that rain could probably seep in as it's running down the window and then work its way down into the walls. They just get worn out, the seals get old, and they leak. Definitely have a leak on this side, you can see. The siding is all bulging out. We have rot. Out of the whole house, this window is probably in the best shape with the least amount of damage down here. That side is completely solid and dry and I don't see any rot, so that's awesome. Over here though, definitely got a water leak. And it came from over here. I can see the, the rot is on the back side of this stud and it goes straight down and collects right here. So I just made a mark on this stud. We're gonna undercut this and we're gonna keep it. The rest of this can all be pulled out. So let me cut that one first. Wow, that's got some pressure on it. It wasn't rotted, but there's definitely some water damage showing. I don't know, if I don't even know if you can call it damage, but we'll replace it. Just looking at the wood as I go, seeing how everything looks. Yeah. I know we have a rotted spot right over here, starting at the door. Clearly very bad, it's been patched before. You can just see how close we're working to that spot. So I'm just trying to keep that in mind right now. Let's just take this one step at a time and see where this leads us. So I'm gonna go under the house, just so I can cut up through the floor and find my joist line. We'll get this piece out of the way and see how bad that rim joist is.
Look at that. It's solid. Cool. Isn't that shocking? Yeah. Even the face of it feels fine. So guys, this is going so well. I'm so happy about this. Now all we have to do is block this opening up so we can put our new plywood down. So I'm gonna be attaching this two by four right here as a nailer for our patch. I can't believe we're already getting our new bottom plate installed. You can see that stud that we undercut there. It fits perfectly on top. We'll get that secured back down in a moment. So we got these couple of studs secured. Everything's locked in place. Now it's time to go outside and unscrew the window. Up here above the door, there's a two by four hooked out of the side of the house because it used to have a, a roof over a front porch. We took that down. I gotta try to pull that two by four off there just to give me a little more flex room above that window. I'll just give it the old heat hole. Time to clean the old putty off the window. This is the job where I really like to have my gloves on.
Is that all in? I think so. Awesome. We finished up all the framing and I spent some time scraping all the window opening edges, getting all the old gunk and butyl tape off of it. It's clean enough for me. I think we're finally ready to install the new window. Once again, we're gonna be using butyl tape to seal our mobile home windows. Just trying to get it lined up on the edge. Making sure I go right where the screw holes are. Well guys, another window installed and finished. That's only three more of these big windows that we have to do to finish the house, believe it or not. This one was so much easier than the rest that we've done. Went pretty quick and easy. Since that went so smoothly, I think we have time for one more little job. And I wanna patch this hole right here. This was one of the old heat registers. Since it's such a small area and there's no rot on the floor, it's just a cutout we don't have to rip up plywood. All we have to do is patch. So this one is also gonna be a little easier than the typical job that we've been doing. You see? No, it's just that their whole thing is crooked and messed up. It's close enough. So what I did was I took a scrap piece of plywood and I'm using it to trace where I need to cut because it'll be easier to square up this opening than it would be to cut a piece to fit it, I think. Mm-hmm, definitely. Let's check our patch. Looks like it fits good. We just need to get some blocking underneath here to hold our Wood up. Is that it? That's not too bad. This side isn't bad. This side sticks up a little. So. It'll be okay. I could always sand that down, maybe, if I just set these screws in a little tiny bit. We can okay. smooth it out. Yeah. It'll be doable. Mission accomplished. Look at the window. It looks so much better than when we started here with that old nasty thing that was there. Hopefully that will keep the water out for a little while. Should. Coming next, probably we're gonna have to do this door because obviously you guys saw the mess all under there. But weren't you guys shocked at how clean that rim joist was for a change? Yeah. Solid, I couldn't believe it with all that rot. So I like to see that. We also just took a few minutes to clean up all of our tools, pack up, and I crawled around under the house pulling out all the last of the wires. There was still some old wire down there and I cleaned it up pretty good. So it's pretty clean now. There's a lot of work here. Even stuff that happens beyond what you guys see, there's just always a lot of work to be done. Yep. And we're getting to the fun stuff though. Well, this is kind of fun <laughs> in its own way, but we're getting to the fun stuff soon. Yeah. So we still have a lot of siding work to do. We still have to put a lot of screws in and fix the 
metal above the windows, so don't worry, everything's gonna be buttoned up a lot tighter later on. But I guess that's all we have for now, so thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.